Hello everyone, welcome to what if Corkless Deku was abandoned by his family, and becomes Yujiro Hanma Part 2. Before we start please go support Mundafix1018 for writing that awesome fanfic. This is the translated version I made, there will be some mistake in character's gender but of course Deku is a male. Chapter 12 Was it so difficult to be happy? Author I clarify that I will advance some events such as the recruitment of the League of Villains for new members. Without further ado let's continue with the story. Bakugo slash Katsumi what? Izuku shut up for God's sake, you're so noisy, we're here. Knock knock. Izuku knocked on the door, and when it opened Mitsuki came out, and became very happy when she saw him. Mitsuki Izuku she said throwing herself at him. She hugged him and put her face in her breasts. Izuku mind if I die, I will die like a man, here I go, Saint Peter. Mitsuki saw how Izuku was starting to run out of air, so he decided to let it out. Mitsuki I'm sorry Izuku. Izuku air, rich elixir, now calm down it doesn't matter. Mitsuki come in please, and you two go to your room. Bakugo who the buck do you think you are to talk to me like that he said angrily. Katsumi I say the same thing she said angrily. Mitsuki who created me? I'm your mother and if you don't go up, I'll deform your face with my flip-flops. Bakugo everything except the flip-flop, please. Katsumi I was in a corner saying memories of Vietnam are coming back. The two said no more and went up to their rooms. Izuka how have you been and Mitsuki? He said smiling. Mitsuki better since I don't have to go to that horrible job, and you? Izuka pretty good, can you tell me your bank account so I can transfer money to you? Mitsuki I've already told you not to do it. It's a big waste for someone like me he said shedding a couple of tears. Izuku don't put yourself down. You are a great woman. Not every woman raises two children without anyone to support her. You are incredible and Mitsuki and never forget that. Okay. He wiped away Mitsuki's tears and smoothed her hair making her blush a little. Mitsuki G thanks. My account is xxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxxx
At one point he got tired of being with Inko and divorced her trying to get custody of Izumi, but he didn't succeed and left with nothing. Izuku I see well, I think I have to go, it's getting late. Mitsuki okay. Izuku went to the door, but before he left Mitsuki pulled him by the shirt and gave him a kiss that was quickly reciprocated by him. After a minute they separated due to lack of air. Mitsuki I'll be waiting for you to fulfill your promise darling. Izuku rest assured honey. Izuku left the house and headed towards the came house. He was already halfway there. But before he started running his phone that he had bought at the OXXO started to ring. Phone I want to feel your body next to mine. Because my soul has been feeling cold for a long time now. Izuku answered the call and put his cell phone to his ear. Call. Nizi young Izuku, we require your presence at the address please. Izuku now? But I already want to go to my island, couldn't it be tomorrow? Niza unfortunately not, we also summoned his entire class so I'll expect him in ten minutes in my office. End of call. Izuku now what does the director want me for? Size I guess I have to go. Time spick twenty minutes. At the UA. We can see Izuka entering the office calmly as if nothing was happening. Izuka, hello, why are you looking at me? Do you like me? He said seeing how almost everyone looked at him with hatred except Midnight, Aizawa and Mineta, and Rashi but he was not in the UA, they looked at them with sadness. Izuka, why those faces he said seriously? Nizu can you explain this to us young Izuku? Or rather young Midoriya? Izuka Hama? I don't have that surname. I don't have any surname. Niza, well, it turns out we were investigating it, and one day we received this album. Lida, would you put the album on, please? Lida agreed and put the disc into a player. Video. We can see a hooded man in an alley who seemed to be waiting for someone. You finally arrive, it took you a while, don't you think? Shigaraki, let's get straight to the point, got it? Yes, but now you give me my share, he said, extending his hand. Shigaraki TSK, take it. Shigaraki gave him a backpack full of money and in turn Izuku gave him a notebook. There are the names, relatives and quirks of the students. There is also the structure of the USJ and future events that the UA plans for its students. There is also information about the heroes etc. Shigaraki well done, hero, Izuku, lol. The one now known as Izuku took off his hood revealing that he was, Izuku, but with an evil smile. Izuku my job is done, I'm leaving before the authorities see us. After that Izuku climbed a building and left. End of video. Everyone was silent as they looked at Izuku with hatred, except for Midnight, Aizawa and Mineta, Rashi and a few others. Izuku I assure you that is not me, you have to believe. I don't finish saying since he received a flare from Endeavor on the back. Endeavor shut your mouth you damn villain catch him. All might let's lock this filthy villain behind bars. Those words from the two most recognized heroes were enough to start the battle. Izuku had activated the demon back by instinct. He looked up and saw how Murko was trying to kick him. He dodged it. But a large orca held him by the back. Big orca hit him. Izuku received a strong blow from Lita in the ribs, then a strong explosion from the two Bakugo twins, and finally an ice stake that he could not dodge because of the pain and that same stake pierced his right shoulder, he quickly broke the ice and ran outside the UA, but was hit by a strong taste of air from all might. Then Endeavor grabbed him by the arms and began to burn them giving him more scars than he already had. Izuku A-H-H-H-H-H-H Izuku lost the demon back and after that Endeavor threw him into the air and said, Endeavor now kid. Denki yes. Denki charged a lot of electricity and threw it at Izuku. Denki a million volts. Izuku received the electricity fully and his body fell unconscious. Niza lock him up in Tartaros, he said seriously. Midnight P, but Professor, what if the tests are fake? Niza, I checked them myself. They are real. Aizawa, but it's impossible. He would never do something like that. Mineta, it's true. I've known him for a short time but he never made fun of my quirk, or anything like that. Izumi it was surely part of his plan. Momo it's true, that damn bastard tricked me to get information from me she said angrily. Kurishima I should never have trusted him. 
and so everyone from Class 1A started insulting Izuku. Time spick. We can see Izuku covered in blood, wounds and burns being thrown into a dirty cell with dried blood. Guard from today, this will be your life in Tartarus, and this floor is the deepest, this floor is the real Tartarus. I hope you suffer a lot for betraying the UA. The guard put chains on his feet, and then he left the cell and the hill. Izuku whispering why does my life have to be like this was it so difficult to be happy? Chapter 13 If I don't find a place with the heroes, I'll do it here. Ark, King of Tartarus In Tartarus An alarm made Izuku wake up as he had fainted from blood loss. Izuku what is this noise supposed to mean? Guard 1 it means you have to eat. Follow me and don't try anything. The guard opened the door to Izuku's cell and led him to the dining room. We can see Izuku going to the Tartar dining room with the prisoner's clothes. When he arrived, everyone looked at him with an evil face. Izuku knew what was going to happen. Prisoner 1 look what we have here. A brat who is still in diapers, ha ha. Everyone ha ha. Izuku what do you want? He said seriously with an intimidating look. Prisoner 1 nothing, just this. The prisoner would try to give Izuku a right hook but he dodged it and counterattacked with a blow to the abdomen, making the prisoner kneel. Izuku mind I have to finish quickly, my wounds are not completely healed. Izuku gave a strong combo of blows to the prisoner. The prisoner could not resist any longer and fainted with three broken ribs and his jaw out of place. All of the prisoners started to look at him intimidatingly, but Izuku didn't give a shit and replied. Izuku what? Are they gay? Seriously. All the prisoners were scared when they saw their eyes, but some were not. Those few were only excited by something they had not yet told Izuku. The bell rang again and everyone went to their cells. After an hour, the guard of his cell called him. Guard hey, get up he said seriously. Izuku stop. Guard for fights. Izuku you fight, for what? Guard didn't you notice that some prisoners looked at you with a challenging look? Well, that's why they plan to screw you over, so get up. Izuka sighs okay, let's go. The guard opened Izuka's cell and the two began to walk together. Izuka, what is your name? Guard friendships with prisoners are not allowed, but my name is Jose. Izuka, are you a foreigner? Jose, yes, I come from Mexico. Izuka, I heard it's a big country. Jose, it is, he said smiling. Before Izuka could say anything else, Jose told him. Jose, we arrived. Izuka saw how a large number of prisoners were gathered around a ring. The ring also had bars that made the attacks not pass to the others, or well most of the attacks. Izuka, and when will they call me? Jose, I don't know. Just wait your turn. Time spick 30 minutes. Note, put the music on reading because what pad without music is not the same. After that Izuka saw how the fights had no rules, and in almost all the fights the prisoners ended up dead, and they were allowed to use their quirks only for that occasion. They also had several guards who were armed with tranquilizer guns and real bullets. Presenter Mariano Perez, also nicknamed the Neep Cutter, come up. A devilish-looking man with orange hair. Announcer come up, the new prisoner, Izuku, also nicknamed the UA Traitor. And that's how Izuku rose to the top, receiving praise from the prisoners for having betrayed the UA. Izuku mind they really hate heroes. Mariano, I'll cut off your heinous. Izuku, your mom won't leave you, she needs you. Mariano Greyera. Presenter, start your bets. Most voted for Mariano, and almost no one voted for Izuku. Note, I clarify that the prisoners bet cigarettes, toilet paper, and that kind of things. Presenter ready? Get started. Mariano took several steps back and moved his fingers as if he were going to cut something vertically. Izuku understood what he wanted to do so he moved his head to one side and a couple of strands of hair fell when they were cut. Izuku whispering at high speed his quirk must be cut, but if the theory is correct what he does is send blades of air through his fingers. Mariano stopped whispering. Izuku if I'm right, doing this will give me victory. With a quick movement he stood in front of Mariano preventing him from using his fingers freely, then he gave him a strong blow to the ribs and left him on the floor. The prisoners kill him, kill him, 
Kill him, kill him. Izuku YHHHH baby. Izuku took Mariano's body who was almost unconscious and put him on his feet, then grabbed his head and with a quick movement ripped his head off. The prisoner's demon of death, demon of death, demon of death. Izuku demon of death, I guess I like it. He said while laughing over Mariano's corpse. Note, the cool part is over, so you can take out the music. Time spick. After that Izuku fought eleven more and the prisoner ended up the same as Mariano. Izuku's new nickname was Demon of Death, he had to admit that he liked that nickname. After the fights, Jose accompanied Izuku to his cell. Jose so Demon of Death eh, ha ha ha, first day and you're already in the news. Izuku what can I say, I'm irresistible. He said while doing a Jaja's POS. A drop of sweat fell from Jose's forehead because of Izuku's attitude. After a few seconds of walking, they arrived at Izuku's cell. Izuku goodbye Jose. Jose it's not like I'm going to leave, idiot, I literally have to watch you and stand here all day. Izuku oh well, don't miss me. Jose go to sleep tomorrow will be another day. Izuku yes, tomorrow will be a new day. Time spick the next day. We can see Izuku in the dining room, all calm until he witnessed a scene that made him clench his fists. Prisoner come on, honey, come with me, you'll have fun he said while licking his lips. Go away she said seriously. Prisoner you will come with me whether you like it or not, you damn hitch he said grabbing the girl's wrist. At that moment Izuku appeared and grabbed the prisoner's arm. Prisoner what do you want? He said angrily. Izuku she told you no, go away he said seriously and with an intimidating aura. Prisoner you don't order me imbecile. The prisoner tried to hit him, but Izuku dodged it and gave him a strong right hook in the prisoner's ribs. Prisoner son of AP. Izuku headed the prisoner hard and then grabbed his arm and slammed him to the ground. Then Izuku threw him, let him fall and stepped on his head, creating a strong crater in the ground. Izuku you're fine. I didn't need your help she said seriously. Izuku at least thank you right? All this for a thank you. I would have done it better myself. Then the girl got up from her seat and went to her cell. Izuku oh how cold, I'd better eat because I'm hungry. Izuku went to where they gave the food and asked. Izuku what's on today? Cook soup alone. Izuku you old piece of shit how dare you make soup in 40 degree heat. Cook it's that or just bread, choose she said without giving it any importance. Izuku bread with water? Cook yes. Izuku give me the bread. Time spick. After eating, Izuku went to the fights where he won cigarettes, paper, and hex with a girl. Izuku excuse me, but about hex I don't want to accept it. Presenter eh, really? Izuku yes, I don't see the need to do that. Besides I respect women a lot and I'm not capable of having hex with a girl who is probably forced to he said seriously. Presenter okay he said surprised. The presenter was surprised since no prisoner had refused that prize, and it was true that the girls were obliged. All the prisoners who heard that began to respect Izuku. Prisoner 1 Demon of Death is a great man. Prisoner 2 It's true, he's someone to admire. Prisoner 3 Demon of Death is a real man. Prisoner 4 Hey everyone. Most of the prisoners who were there began to listen. Prisoner 4 Let's shout the name of a real man. Everyone knew what he meant so they said. Prisoner's demon of death is a real man. They said at the same time, Izuku upon hearing that just smiled with joy. Izuku whispering if I didn't find a place with the heroes, I'll do it here. Note, this part inspired me in Adam's rap from Hasbin Hotel. Izuku say my name. Prisoner's Izuku. Izuku who am I? Prisoner's Izuku. Izuku yes sir. Prisoners Izuku. Izuku who is the best? Prisoners Izuku Izuku Izuku. Izuku oh yeah baby. Prisoners Izuku. Izuku my flow burns. Prisoners Izuku. Izuku lol. Time spick. After that, Izuku went to his cell on Jose's orders. In an unknown place. Shigaraki we already erased Izuku from the map, master. Ha ha ha. And what did the informant tell you? 
Shigaraki the sports festival is in five days, should we attack? Sometimes I think you're stupid, how are we going to attack a place full of top heroes? Shigaraki I understand. What else did he tell you? Shigaraki according to her, she was able to enter Niza's office, deactivating the cameras, obviously, and she was able to see some documents that said that after the internships she would open a camp. Well, we will probably attack during the internships and in that camp, if you have nothing else to tell me, leave. Shigaraki didn't say anything and left with a purple and black portal. When I recover, I will kill you definitively all might. Chapter 14 New Teacher, New Training We can see Izuku talking to himself. Izuku what if we create some kind of group? Izuku I don't know, why would we do it? Izuku it's me and you don't know what I think size we will use it to kill all the fake heroes and villains. Izuku and why not alone? Izuku do you want us to go crazier than we already are? Izuku no. Izuku then we have to start socializing. Suddenly I heard Jose hitting the bars of Izuku's cell. Jose stop talking to yourself Izuku it's stressful he said with an annoying tone. Izuku well what if we make a doll? Jose holy shit Izuku. I know you're really alone, but stop talking nonsense. Izuku whispering your mother bucker. Jose, what did you say? I didn't finish saying it when I heard a loud alarm sounding while the hallways lit up red. Izuku, what's going on, Jose? Jose, nothing out of the ordinary, just a prisoner trying to escape, he said without giving it much importance. Time spick. After a while, Izuku looked out to see the result of the battle and saw how several guards were dead because of that prisoner. Izuka was he that strong? Jose was one of the villains who could face All Might, although I don't remember his name, but I do remember his quirk, his power is that he temporarily divides the physical abilities of his opponent, and temporarily takes his own. Izuku a pretty strong quirk he said a little impressed. Jose yes. Time spick. We can see Izuku in the dining room very calm, then he went to the fights and when he won his first fight he went to wait in a dark corner, but he felt someone touch his shoulder and asked. Izuka who are you? And what do you want? He said as he looked at a man of his height with a hood covering his face. I see that you carry the blood of ancient warriors. Izuka what are you talking about he said seriously. You've never heard of the Hanma? Izuka no he said seriously. And that's how the unknown subject began to tell about the ancient Hanma until where Baki moved away from society. Izuku, and what does that have to do with me? You are a Hanma. Izuku was surprised, as he explained his incredible physical capabilities. Izuku, but why wasn't my father or my mother strong and all that? Baki, the reason is simple. They have so little Hanma blood that their bodies are not affected, and that is caused by their quirk, since I suppose your parents are something like. 99% quirk, and 1% hanma, but for some reason you are 100% hanma. Izuku I see and who are you, or what do you want from me? Train yourself. Izuku I don't even know your name, and you want to train me. So which one is yours? Izuku Izuku, I guess now Izuku hanma. Ha ha ha, no boy, you are not yet at the level of a true hanma, that is why I want to train you. Izuku, and who are you to tell me that? Me, I am Baki Hanma. He said as he lowered his hood revealing someone very similar to Izuku, only he had white hair and a white beard with a couple of wrinkles on his face. Izuku, but it's impossible, then you. Baki, yes I am over 100 years old, I actually don't remember how old I am, maybe I've already reached 150 years old, ha ha ha. Izuku, but that's impossible, how are you still alive? Baki well I discovered that I am something like the pinnacle of the Hanma and that gave me many years of life, although I am already at my limits, I as Hanma reached the limit of our blood, but you you can surpass that limit. Izuka but how will I do that? Baki easy, training like real men. Izuka you are aware that we are in the most secure prison in the world, right? Baki yes, but in my time there was an even safer one leaving that aside, let's go. Baki walked to an abandoned area of the prison where there was nothing, only dirt and dried blood. Baki here it will be, this training will be hard you will probably die in the process, even knowing that do you want to try? Izuki yes he said determined. 
Baki well, take off those cheap wristbands and put these on. He said as he handed him two black wristbands that seemed to be quite heavy, Izuku just obeyed and took off his old wristbands, and when he took the wristbands that Baki was giving him, his arms couldn't hold the weight and dropped the wristbands creating a small crater on the floor. Izuku they are very heavy. Baki that shows that you still have a long way to go to surpass me ha ha ha. Izuku then how do you think I can surpass you? Baki easy, at your age I was still much weaker than you. If I am stronger than you now it was because of the hard training I went through to get revenge on my father. Izuku mind I guess I shouldn't talk about that topic he thought seriously. Izuku put on his wristbands from the floor and tried to stand up many times, but he couldn't. Baki first training, getting used to the weight of the wristbands. Izuku how much do they weigh? Baki good question, maybe 10 or 15 tons per wristband. Izuku why don't we start with lighter ones? Baki because that wouldn't be fun, besides when you get used to those weights you will be extremely strong. Izuku what's that? Baki enough to battle two symbols of peace at once. Izuku smiled upon hearing that, so he just obeyed and tried to stand up again. Time spick two hours. We can see Izuku going to his cell. Izuku shit, I couldn't load it even once, TSK. Izuku kicked a rock, but it crashed into someone who was going to his cell. Who the buck was it? Said the girl with clear anger. Izuka hummy, but it was Sinku. He could not continue speaking because the girl quickly climbed onto his back and put him in a chokehold. I can't stand damn perverts he said in an unfriendly way. Izuka mind what the hell did I do for her to call me a pervert? This girl is crazy. You will die in my hands, harasser of women she said seriously. He said as he tightened the grip on his arms causing Izuku's neck to be squeezed tighter than before. Izuku mind why does she call me a stalker? She is definitely crazy. Izuku stopped moving, making the girl believe that he was already dead, but... Izuku I can feel your breasts touching my back he said with a small blush. The girl jumped back while covering her chest. I hate your presence she said seriously but angry. Izuku I'm not a pervert or a stalker. Why do you call me that? Isn't it obvious? You've been following me after what happened in the dining room, and now I've just confirmed that you're a pervert he said with a slight tone of hatred in his words, but in a serious way. Izuku meeting you by chance is not stalking, and telling the truth is not being perverted. Just don't bother me he said walking towards his cell with a serious look. Izuku at least tell me your name. No seriously. He said walking a little faster. Izuka come on don't be bad, he said as he shook his shoulder. Just to stop bothering you I'll tell you my name, I'm Kane Tsutsumi, or also known as Lady Nagant. Happy, now let me go I want to sleep she said seriously and tired. Izuka let her go since he didn't want to bother her so much. Izuka so Lady Nagant, eh? I investigated her before being forced to kill by the imbecile of the former head of the Public Safety Commission is not a nice experience, she has also suffered. He said as he watched Kana walk through the dark corridors of the real Tartarus. Note, although in the story they see that Tartaros is a beautiful place, they are wrong, literally like five prisoners die a day from fights between them, Izuku being strong survives as well as Kana, Baki, and Jose is the guard of Izuka's cell, so nothing would ever happen to Jose because Izuka would not allow it. At the UA we can see Midnight with her eyes a little red since they had arrested the student who never saw her as a hexual object, and although she did not admit it, she had become very fond of him and something more. She was going to class 1A to teach history. When she arrived she saw how everyone was standing throwing papers at each other and playing like monkeys. Midnight sit down. Everyone listened as they said things like, Old boar, hlut, a stripper is in the school, and things like that. Midnight got angry but she was able to hold on and started giving the class. After a while in class she could hear how many of her students insulted Izuku, except Mineta who seemed to be the only one who supported Izuku, until she heard. Momo thank goodness I never became that idiot's girlfriend. I knew something was wrong with him. Kirishima the truth is I thought he would be a good person but in the end he turned out to be a villain. Midnight couldn't take it anymore and got up from her seat and slapped Kirishima hard. Kirishima what the hell is wrong with you? 
Midnight punched her hard in the ribs and after that she put her to sleep with her quirk. Midnight turned her gaze looking at Momo. Midnight kneed her in the face breaking Momo's nose. Mineta that's at midnight break those hitches mothers. He said supporting Midnight. Time spick. In the director's office. Nizu and tell me Midnight why did you fracture the rib of the student Kirishima? And why did you break the nose of the young Yairoso? Midnight let's say I'm on my period. Niza sighs I won't give you any warning, but if it happens again I'll fire you, okay? Midnight okay. At the Bakugo house. Mitsuki could be seen crying because she found out that Izuku was locked up. She knew that he would never be capable of that. She also tried to visit him, but she was prohibited from entering due to security issues and more. Ring ring. Mitsuki's phone rang. She answered and was surprised by who was calling her. Call. Are you there Mitsuki? Mitsuki Yumasaru, what the hell do you want? She said seriously and cold. Masaru, I just wanted to ask you if you want to come back. Don't you miss my big titan? Mitsuki, you call that 15 centimeters piece of shit a titan? Ha, go to the trash where you came from. I have someone much better than you. Masaru, yes, I was watching you. It's that boy, what was his name? Fork Suzuku, the traitor of the UA. Ha ha ha. Mitsuki, he is not the traitor, and I'm already fed up with you. I hope you rot in hell. End of call. Mitsuki cut the call and went to his bed to rest. Mitsuki Izuku, I hope you keep our promise, she said as a couple of tears fell from her two beautiful eyes. At came house. Rashi, holy shit, Izuku, what the hell did you do now? He said while reading the newspapers saying things like, Newspaper, UA students together with the heroes captured the UA trader slash the UA trader slash capybara's bucking. Rashi sighs, it's impossible that that idiot did that. I know him very well. The question is who framed him and with whose help? With Aizawa. He had finished classes with class 1A, so he went to a bar and started drinking like crazy. Aizawa, holy shit, Izuku, hip, now how are you going to get out of this, hip? He said while drinking more beer. In an unknown place. Doc, how many gnomas do we have? Doctor, we have 150 low-level gnomas that could be defeated by aspiring heroes, 80 mid-level gnomas that are as strong as regular heroes, 50 top-level gnomas that are stronger than mid-level ones, 10 near-high-end gnomas. These gnomas can be capable of competing with top 10 heroes, and 5 high-end gnomas. These are as strong or stronger than near-high-end gnomas, but what makes them special is that they can think for themselves, but not disobey us since they are still under our control but these high-end gnomas will be ready more or less after the UA Sports Festival. Well done, the heroes won't have a chance against us lol. Doctor sure all for one, we will take control of Japan very soon. All for one but I want you to send those who recruited to train. Doctor sure. All for one retreat. After that the doctor left, leaving all for one very happy. All for one what are you doing all might? Your successor Izumi Midoriya is very weak, and the strongest in the UA was framed ha ha ha. I can't wait to see your face when I reveal that you were impressed an innocent person. Nana Shimura really chose wrong, lol. Chapter 15 The Fall of Tartarus 1 Half Time spick 5 months We can see Izuku training with Baki. He had the wristbands on while he was punching the air making shadow a boxing technique. Baki not bad boy I also see that you have changed a lot. You don't look so much like me anymore. Izuku it's not that big of a deal he said without giving it any importance. Izuku's hair had turned black and longer. He also had more muscle. But he still had all his scars and burns from his family. A burn on the right side of his face. Two cuts on his cheek. More burns all over his body. And also scars spread all over his body. Note. Imagine that he has the scars that I put above. Baki it's been five months right? Izuku yeah five damn months in this place. Baki sighs tell me one thing. Are you still thinking of killing the fake heroes? Izuku yes and if I have to get my hands dirty so that the name, hero, regains its meaning. Not like the heroes of today. They are just idiots with ridiculous outfits looking for fame and money he said in a tone of hate while clenching his fists. Baki and what will happen to them? Izuku are you talking about Mitsuki and Midnight? Baki yeah. 
I don't think they'd agree, because one has two sons who are aspiring heroes, and the other is a heroine. Izuku they may not agree, but I will still change this society, so that no one has to live. Izuku what I lived. At the camp. We can see Bakudo being kidnapped by the League of Villains through a Kurojiri portal. Izumi na. The portal closed making Izumi and Katsumi angry. Katsumi curse. Aizawa buses will soon come to take us to Yue. For now stay here and later we will discuss Bakudo's kidnapping with Niza he said seriously. Time spick two hours. At the Yue. We can see the entire class 1A and 1B and several heroes gathered in the principal's office. Niza well? Does anyone know where they could have taken young Bakugo? Momo raised her hand, calling Niza's attention. Momo I put a tracker on Inomu. We can locate the League of Villains thanks to that. Niza well, those who will go to the rescue will be All Might, Endeavor, Murko, Midnight Inko, Hasashi. Inko looked annoyed at Hasashi since he had only used her, and she had also reconsidered that it was wrong to do that to her son, for those and more reasons she hated Hisashi. Then Niza continued naming heroes that are not important to the plot. Niza get ready, because tomorrow night we will rescue young Bakugo, it is decided. All HAI. In Tartarus. We can see Izuku, Kena, Baki, and Jose debating on how they would get out of that dump. Izuku, so you're telling me that this prison is completely armored, packed to the teeth with weapons, that the air we breathe doesn't come from the outside but from a person's quirk, therefore, there is no escape route? Jose, exactly. Why do you think they call it the most secure prison in the world? Kena, I see. So we will never get out of here, she said dejectedly. Baki, I have an idea, he said, drawing the attention of everyone present. Izuku spills Baki. Baki, if I heard correctly, Jose said that air is not natural and that it is a person who generates it. Jose, yes, specifically a prisoner from the upper floors who has a life of luxury for doing this job or so I think. Why? Baki, if we kill him, the managers will be forced to open an air duct directly to the outside. Jose, and how will we get out? That is, from the island, we are literally in the middle of the ocean. Izuku, actually that's not much of a problem. Me and Baki could go swimming. Kena, we are a nuisance. Izuku, I never said that. I consider them my friends, one of the only ones I can trust. I would rather die than abandon them here. Kena, thank you. Jose, not even my family had told me something so beautiful really because they are all dead, ha ha ha. Baki, let's stop fooling ourselves and plan everything. Jose, I know a way to the prisoner with the air quirk, but we will have to separate, and I also know how to evade the cameras. Kena, how? Izuku, what are you eating, damn? I didn't finish speaking when I saw how Kena was pointing at her head. Izuku, if it was a joke, Kena chan, he he laughed nervously. Kena, you better, she said, stopping using her quirk. Jose, cough, cough, cough. As I was saying, my quirk is called illusion. I can create an illusion in all of Tartarus so that they believe that it remains the same as before, but there will come to a point when the guards realize that it is an illusion. Izuka too convenient, huh? Jose, yes, the truth is yes. Baki, well, and when we kill the prisoner, where will we go? I mean, where will they open so that the air can come in? Jose, as far as I know, there should be some old ventilation duct somewhere, since they didn't always have that prisoner, so we'll split into two groups. Izuku and Kena will look for and kill the prisoner, and the other team will be Baki and I. We'll go look for routes where we can escape. Izuku, okay. Tell me where it is, I have a good memory. Jose started to tell him where it was, after about five minutes Izuku was able to memorize each route. Izuku well, what time do we start? Jose when the fights start, that's when several guards leave their posts to watch the prisoners. Baki that's in ten minutes. Kena Izuku, you will attack from the front and I will attack from afar. Izuku okay. Jose and I will do the biggest illusion of my life that will probably leave me without energy. Therefore, you will have to attack and protect me. Okay, Baki? Baki sighs if there is no other way. Time spick ten minutes. Jose, okay. Follow the plan. Now I will create the illusion, he said seriously. Jose created the illusion, making the guards believe that everything is normal. 
Izuku and Kena began to run stealthily while Izuku knocked out the guards and Kena quickly killed those who noticed Izuku's presence. Izuku grabbed a guard by the neck and was about to break his neck to kill him. Guard P please let me go she said crying. Izuku let go, but as soon as he did, the guard grabbed a communicator and turned it on. Before he could say anything Kena shot him in the head. Kena what are you doing Izuku? She said, looking him seriously in her eyes. Izuku whispering I guess deep down there's still some of my old self left. Kena what did you say? Izuku nothing, let's keep moving forward. They began to climb floor by floor, until they reached an armored square with a door. Around the square was connected to several tubes. Izuku so who is it? Kena opened the door Izuku, I'll get ready. Izuku knocked down the door with a loud bang but what he saw was something horrible. A chained woman with signs of abuse and grape. She looked very tired with signs of not sleeping. The woman was constantly expelling air. Izuku what the buck. Woman kill me, end my suffering please, I beg you she said while crying. Kena. Izuku why are you like this aren't you supposed to? Woman that they treated me like a queen. Ha what a good joke that's what they tell everyone. But this is the truth. They inject me with drugs so I don't sleep and keep using my quirk constantly. I want to die. I want to die. He said as his eyes tried to cry. But he couldn't even do it. The physical and mental torture was so much that he couldn't shed tears anymore. Woman kill me please. Izuku began to shed tears. He couldn't believe how cruel humanity was. Izuku how old? Woman ten years of suffering. Abuse and great kill me. I beg you. Izuku approached, put one of his hands on the woman's jaw, and the other hand on her head. He approached the girl and whispered to her. Izuku whispering, I swear I will kill all the bastards in this prison. Woman, my name is Maria. What is yours? Izuku, Izuku. Maria, you are my hero, Izuku, he said, smiling. Crack. Izuku with a quick movement killed and freed an innocent soul from this cruel world. Izuku rest in peace Maria. Kena walked up to Izuku and touched his shoulder and then asked him. Kena Izuku are you okay? Izuku I am I am. He said to quickly wipe away her tears so that she wouldn't see him cry. So that she wouldn't see his weakness. Kena whispering Izuku. Baki guys. The two turned around and saw Jose being carried by Baki. Baki let's go to La Vega Izuku. I told some feminists who have more piercings than rights. Bang, bang, bang. Baki started to run being followed by Izuku and Kena who had climbed on his back because she was not that fast. She was quite blushed as she rested her head on Izuku's back. Time spick. After running for a while they were finally able to escape from the Tartars without being detected. They searched the surroundings and found a boat where Baki, Jose and Kena got on. They heard the Tartars' alarm begin to sound. Jose Izuku, have you noticed? What are you waiting for? Get up. Izuku you go, I'll catch up with you later. Jose but what are you saying? They will lock you up, get on the damn boat. Baki enough Jose, this seems to be personal. Kena Izuku he said calling him. Izuku how serious? Kena we have to go to that island where your teacher is, right? Izuku yes, go now or they will capture you. Kena if they lock you up, I swear I'll shoot you in the head. After they left on the boat, Izuku was watching as several weapons began to point at him. Izuku today will be. Izuku the Fall of Tartars. Chapter 16 The Fall of Tartars 2 Halves We can see Izuku being targeted at by various weapons. Guard surrender or we will shoot. Izuku your mom sucked me off. Guard shoot. The other guards were heard shooting left and right. Izuku simply began to dodge, but unfortunately two bullets grazed him and caused minor wounds on his torso. Izuku TSK, today they will die for what they did to an innocent soul, today they will pay with their lives. He said while smiling in a devilish and intimidating way. Everyone who saw that smile just took a couple of steps back as they started to cry. Guard is yes. Guard a demon. The heads of the two guards quickly fell to the floor, alarming the others. Guard kill him. Everyone started shooting, but this time no bullets hurt Izuku, they just bounced off his body as if he was made of steel. 
Izuku began to quickly kill all the guards in horrible ways, ripping off their heads, breaking their necks, crushing their heads, etc. General shit, listen carefully. Several guards began to pay attention to him. General I'm making a deal with a prisoner, so restrain him, understood? Guards yes sir. All the guards began to use their quirks being completely useless against Izuku's great strength and speed. While that was happening the general entered Tartaro's and went down to the deepest floor where Izuku was. He opened a large armored door, and a chained man could be seen looking down. What do you want? General I come to make a deal with you. Ha ha ha, really the great general requires my humble help. General we want you to arrest a prisoner, if you do we will grant you freedom. LOL I accept. The general removed the chains from the prisoner. General is out. The general's head was cut off under the prisoner's gaze. Prisoner let's see what they needed me for ha ha ha. With Izuku. Note play music from now on. Izuku was slaughtering all the guards until he dodged a kick. Izuku who was it? Prisoner yo, any problem Elmo? Ha. Izuku saw a gray-haired man with a somewhat intimidating appearance. Prisoner I introduce myself. My name is Rayan. And I am the last thing you will see today, he said smiling in a macabre way. Izuku will see about that, he said smiling in the same way. The two looked at each other until Rayan said, Rayan divide. From one moment to the next, Izuku felt all his strength drop by half, he felt weaker, but he still had his demonic form. He looked at Rayan, and when he saw him, he understood what happened. Rayan, this, this power is greater than that of All Might LOL. And that's when Izuku remembered the prisoner who killed many guards, the prisoner who almost defeated All Might. Rayan's appearance had changed. His skin had a purple tone with many veins that stood out. Rayan expelled an aura of death. Izuku, this will be entertaining. He said while smiling devilishly looking at his opponent. The two of them rushed into a fight, exchanging blows at an incredibly high speed. Each blow they gave each other made the island tremble. Guard 1 SR Guard two demons. They said as they watched the most destructive battle that not even All Might could do. In a moment of carelessness of Izuku, Rayan grabbed his arm and tried to whip him. But Izuku was faster and with his other foot he hit his opponent in the ribs. Rayan stepped back in pain but did not let his guard down. The two looked at each other and after a few seconds they began to throw punches. Rayan tried to give Izuku a hook but he dodged it and took advantage of that to be able to give him a complete combo. Rayan quickly recovered and caught Izuku off guard. Rayan gave Izuku a combo of punches. Izuku's body was sent flying. Rayan jumped and gave him a hammer blow that sent him to the ground creating a large crater. Izuku HHHH. Rayan is that all you have? Pathetic ha ha ha. But suddenly he felt a sharp pain in his ribs. He looked down and saw how Izuku's fist was stuck in his ribs, breaking almost all of them. Rayan looked up and could see a look of madness and satisfaction on Izuku's part. Rayan son of. Izuku began to hit him and hit him, damaging Rayan greatly. In one of those attacks, Rayan grabbed Izuku's arm and slammed him hard on the ground, damaging Izuku quite a bit. Izuku quickly got up, but Rayan had already landed a strong blow to his abdomen, sending him back up. Rayan jumped again, but this time Izuku waited for him with a strong kick that sent him back to the ground. Rayan got up but it cost him a lot, he saw how Izuku fell with a strong kick, but he managed to dodge it before he defeated him. Izuku's kick generated a large crater. Rayan took advantage of the fact that Izuku was off guard and went to attack. But Izuku was already expecting it so with his other leg he gave a direct blow to Rayan's face sending him into the sea. Izuku ran towards the sea and dove in. The two began to fight underwater. Izuku tried to give him a hook, but Rayan dodged it and took advantage of Izuku's low guard and gave him three quick blows to Izuku's abdomen causing him to spit out the air he had. Izuku tried to climb up, but Rayan pulled him by the feet. Izuku hit Rayan in the face with his foot several times until he let go. He climbed up and took a breath, but Rayan did the same and hit him with all his strength, sending him back to the island. Rayan was thrown away by a strong blow from Izuku. Rayan's body passed through armored walls of Tartarus until reaching the fighting ring. 
all the prisoners just saw how a body crashed into the ring, which caught the attention of the majority who were trying to escape from prison. In a quick movement, Izuka began to give strong blows to Rayan's face, leaving it very deformed. You could also see how Rayan's purple skin color was disappearing, a sign that the physical strength he stole from Izuka was gone. Rayan, are you going to kill me? He said weakly. Izuka, no, you are a formidable warrior. I can't let you die, he said, starting to carry him. Rayan, why? Izuka, because I see in you the desire to protect someone, or am I wrong? Rayan, my sister, yes, you will get me out of here. I only ask that you let me see my sister. Izuka, I will, but first we have to go to Kame House. Rayan, Kame House? Izuka, the place where I trained. Time spick. We can see all of Izuka's friends stepping into Kame House. Rashi, who are you? He said seriously. Kena, I'll explain. We are friends of Izuku. Rashi, friends? No one ever told me about you. Where do you come from? Kena, I don't know if I should answer you. Rashi, if you don't tell me where you come from, I'll kick you off my island. Kena sighs we come from Tartars, she said raising a thumb up. Rashi. Kena. Jose. Baki. Rashi that idiot making friends even in hell, come in. He said as he walked home. Everyone went in and looked at the place which was bigger than it appeared. Rashi and tell me, where is Izuka he said seriously. Kena. Jose he stayed in Tartaros because according to him he had things to do. Rashi just as stupid since I found him. Kena I found, what do you mean? Rashi I don't know if I should tell you this. Jose slash Baki spill it old man. Kena you're in someone else's house, you idiots he said, giving each one a sape. Rashi okay, I'll tell you, Izuku told me that his life was shit, tell me one thing, who do you think gave Izuku those scars and burns? Baki we always asked him, but he never wanted to say it. Rashi those scars and burns were caused by his family he said leaving everyone in shock. Kena P but why? Rashi simple, because he didn't have a quirk. Baki it was to be expected from a society as rotten as this one. Rashi when he was diagnosed with quirkless at age four, his family began to torture him daily for being the black sheep of the family. His sister in particular was the one who caused most of his burns. When they went to school his sister told everyone about Izuka's situation, so they also tortured him at school. Jose who caused the burn on Izuka's right side. Rashi sighs I don't know this very well, but I know that he was rejected by his ex-best friend. She threw a very strong explosion at him, causing that scar that marked him for life. Kena why for life? Rashi why do you think he has a hard time socializing? He is always serious or he looks at people with hatred. The rejection of that girl marked him for life because he had suffered the rejection of the entire society including his family. But he trusted that that girl could be by his side and comfort his lonely heart. But no, she finished killing the former Izuku. Kena old Izuku, what does it refer to? Rashi I will show you. Rashi went to Izuku's room and took out a couple of hidden photos. Rashi look at this. This is a photo of Izuku when he had not been told he was a quirkless. Kena is that Izuku? In shock. Jose impossible in shock. Baki. Rashi impossible to believe, right? Izuku is a child and the current one don't look alike at all. Now look at Izuku after one year of being diagnosed with quirks. Kena. Jose. Baki. Rashi and after six years of suffering, his family thought they had killed him, so they threw him into a river, and that's when I found him, and Izuku with wounds all over his body, burns everywhere, wounds that showed his raw flesh. Kena enough stop talking she said with tears on her face. Jose. Baki. Suddenly they heard someone opening the door. Izuku hello guys he said smiling with many wounds all over his body. Rayan hello strangers he said raising his hand slightly. Jose whispering save it Rashi save it. Rashi whispering ready. You could see how Izuka's photos were stuck in Rashi's ass. Izuka let me introduce you. This is Rayan, the man who almost killed me. Say hello Rayan. Rayan good people. And so everyone started to introduce themselves. Izuka hello Kena. 
he felt her hug him and rested her head on his chest. Kena, I will never abandon you, Izuku, I swear. Izuku began to caress her head, making Kena blush slightly. Izuku, thank you. Rashi, hey Izuku. Izuku broke away from Kena's hug and greeted Rashi with a firm handshake. Kena, you old shit, you ruined my moment. He said as he pointed his quirk at Rashi's head. Rashi calmed down, Satsumi. It wasn't that bad for you, he he he, he said nervously. Izuku, well, first of all, we have to find Rayan's sister. According to him, she is in Muzidafu, right? Rayan, yes, I must be in some high school. If my mind doesn't fail, I must be about to finish high school, or so I think. Izuku, now rest, guys. Today has been a pretty busy day. Ha ha ha. Rashi showed them a couple of rooms each. They lay down and fell asleep. But Izuku was standing looking at the beautiful night. Izuku, I have avenged you, Maria. Despite knowing you for only a few minutes, I could feel your pain. Rest in peace. He said as he looked out into the night, he had a feeling that something bad would happen the next day. Chapter 17 The Truth Ark, The Fall of the League of Villains We can see Izuku going to a flower shop. Lady hello young man, what are you looking for? Izuku do you have a bouquet of red roses? Lady yes young man, here you have it. Izuku paid the lady and then started walking while looking at the bouquet of roses he had bought. Izuku I hope you like the red one he 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 said scratching the back of his neck nervously. Extra good luck kid. Extra to conquer her. Extra three when you get married invite me. That was what people told him when they saw Izuku with the bouquet of roses. Izuku he he thanks. The day was beautiful, there was sun, but at the same time it was windy so the temperature was not a problem. The birds were singing, that day had to be very good, that was what Izuku thought. He arrived at Bakugo Mitsuki's house, the woman who had taken his first time, the woman who had captivated him, and the one who had softened his heart, and it was the perfect time because none of his children were home because of classes at UA. Talk, talk, talk. Izuku knocked on the door several times, but received no response. He noticed that the door was not closed so he entered. He went up the stairs and began to hear some applause. Izuku mind applause. What are you celebrating? It must be your birthday and I forgot size. Thank goodness I'm prepared for war. Just any character wouldn't hurt. And that was what Izuku was thinking. When he got to the second floor he realized that the applause was coming from Mitsuki's room, which seemed strange to him, celebrating a birthday in a room. Now that was weird. He slowly opened Mitsuki's room, but what he saw broke his heart. Masaru could be seen having hex with Mitsuki. Masaru here, do you like it, Hitch? Mitsuki ya whispering, I guess. She turned her head and what she saw left her in shock. It was Izuka looking at her coldly with piercing and empty eyes. Mitsuki quickly removed Masaru and covered his body. Mitsuki, this is not what you think. Let me explain Izuka, she said desperately. She grabbed Izuka's arm, but he quickly pushed her away, causing her to fall to the floor. Mitsuki, listen to me, please. Izuku, what excuse are you going to give me, huh? That you fell on this idiot's hick? I'm not stupid, Mitsuki. Goodbye. Mitsuki, please forgive me. I didn't mean. Izuku, shut up. You stress me out. Each one of your bucking words burns a brain cell, he said with hatred, but with a serious expression. He left Mitsuki's house, leaving her on her knees crying. Masaru, this is awkward. Shall we continue? Mitsuki, get out of my house. She started throwing books at Masaru, causing him to leave his house. Mitsuki, I'm stupid, she said crying and hitting the floor. Flashback one hour before. You could see Mitsuki sad for not having seen Izuku for a long time. She heard someone knock on her door so she went to open it. When she saw who it was she quickly wanted to close the door, but the man stopped her with his foot. Masaru, what's wrong Mitsuki? Not even a hug? Mitsuki get out she said seriously. Masaru come on Mitsuki, you know very well that that brat will never get out of Tartarus. Mitsuki. Masaru do you see? Mitsuki I still don't want to see you, get out of my house. Masaru I'm going to my destiny and I'm going to win. Masaru grabbed her by the shoulders and kissed her. Mitsuki tried to hit him, but in the end he gave in. The two went up to Mitsuki's room and took off their clothes. 
Masaru showed what he called Excalibur. It was only ten centimeters. Masaru admired the original Excalibur. Mitsuki mind it doesn't compare to Azuka's I guess it makes me feel something. The two began to have sexual relations. Mitsuki mind Azuka opened me so much that I don't feel anything anymore. Masaru mind buck this tremendous cave that brings. End of flashback. With Izuku. We can see Izuku with empty eyes going to a bar. He entered and went straight to order beer. Bartender you are not of legal age. Izuku. The bartender looked into Izuku's eyes and could see a lot of sadness. Bartender I see here you go, a cigar. Izuku started drinking like crazy, until a voice caught his attention. Aizawa Izuku? Izuku Mama Caterpillar? Aizawa. Izuku. Aizawa gifted. Izuku scare away old lady. The two gave each other a big hug since Intata's visits were not allowed unless they had the permission of someone important. Aizawa I suppose you escaped because of the fall of Tartaros. I don't think you have killed more than 5,000 guards. Izuku he. Aizawa buck Izuku. That's really crazy haha. Ha. Izuku how many bottles do you have to pay for? Aizawa look what I have he said taking out a card that said, Nizu. Izuku did you steal it? Aizawa no asshole. It was raining credit cards and I found this. Izuku wow, what a strange event. Aizawa don't believe everything they tell you, if they took it out of their pocket ha ha ha. Izuku slash Aizawa bartender, give me ten bottles of whiskey. Time spick. We can see Aizawa completely drunk, and ha Izuku barely drunk. Aizawa, hip, what time where am I, hiccup, hello Izuku. Izuki gave him a sape so that Aizawa would react. Izuku react, idiot, and it's why don't I have a watch? I really have it on my left, ha 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 it's two in the afternoon. Aizawa, hip, cool I have to go, hip, bye and hip, don't buck the hip, 38 girls, they are like hip, the devil, they cheat on you and hip, them go to hell, hip. Izuki you told me too late, hip. I learned the hard way, hip, ha ha ha. The two said goodbye and went their own way. Izuku went in the direction of Kane House to see what Kana found out about the UA. At Kane House. We can see Izuku coming in all wet. Izuku mind thank goodness the alcohol wears off quickly, Osino Kana would kill me. Izuku good people. Kana hello Izuku, the others are asleep. Izuku did you discover something? Kena yes at the camp they kidnapped a student named Katsuki Bakugo. The UA plans to rescue him tonight. What do you plan to do? Izuka mmm maybe I'll go rescue that idiot. Kena I didn't want to ask. But why are you discouraged? Izuka sighs. Kena if you don't want to tell me. I don't want to invade your privacy. Kena mind if I knew that Rashi told us his past he would kill me. Izuka calm down. You are one of the people I trust the most. So I will tell you, I had fallen in love with a woman. At that moment, a murderous instinct was felt coming from Kena that everyone felt, but except for the idiot Izuku who had become sentimental. Izuku that woman was the one who protected me in my bad moments from my childhood, and that woman was the one I promised to marry. A killer instinct was felt throughout Kane house causing some to freak out because they were listening to the conversation. Rashi mind you're an idiot Izuku, he's going to kill us. Jose meant Abe Maria Purissima. Listen to your son's prayers, please. Ray in mind Satan. I offer you my soul for protection. Baki mind at times like this I wish I was on another continent. Izuka but when I saw her again after more than five months she was sleeping with her ex-husband having hex. Izuka began to shed a couple of tears, which surprised almost everyone, except for Rashi and Kena who had already seen him cry. Kena gave him a big hug to comfort him. Kena calm down, everything will be fine. Izuku sniff. Time spick at night. We can see Izuku, Kena, Rayan and Baki witnessing the battle of all for one and all might. Rayan they are strong but they don't give a damn about me. Izuku don't be overconfident, according to what I found out about all for one, he's a guy with a lot of tricks up his sleeve, and well, all might is strong, I guess. Baki it's not a big deal. The real problem would be all for one. Kena are you telling me that you are stronger than all might? 
Izuka slash Rayan slash Baki yes, they said simply. Kana wow. Izuka by the way, would you like to join the group I'm putting together? Baki I'm just an old man with strength, in a few years I will die, and I would like to live my last years of life calmly and in peace, so no. Rayan, and I do everything independently, I don't need a group to cover my back. Kana and Mimimim I will follow you to the death, so if I want to join the group. Ray into the group that doesn't even know what to name it. Ha ha ha. Baki shut up. It seems that All Might was a puffer fish. Look. In the battle of Ofa versus AFO. Note. When All Might is transformed I will call him by his hero name. But when he is in his Venezuelan form I will call him by his name. All for one you finally show your true form All Might you are pathetic. Tashinori shut up damn it he said weakly. All for one if you want to die so much. I'll show you the best combination of quirks to kill you. Tashinori cough, cough de stop. All for one growth, x5 increase, blades, hardening, regeneration, double impact, amen, shock wave. And so all for one began to say several names of quirks adding them only to his arm, making him have one giant arm and the other small. All for one with this I will kill you. I hope you are watching this little brother ha ha ha. With Izuku. Izuka all for one is really into it. Baki another level. Ray in the before the straw, and the after the straw. The three of them started laughing, but quickly gave each one a smack. Kana shut your mouths you pair of disgusting people. Baki whispering says the one who masturbates thinking about Izuku. Kana how do you know that in panic? Ray and we know many things. Baki give us money for alcohol otherwise we will tell Izuku. Ray and what my partner said. She reluctantly gave them money. Izuka turned to look at them and asked. Izuka what are you talking about? Baki you're welcome our innocent Izuku. Ray and come and give me a hug. Izuka not a chance. In the battle of Ofa versus AFO. Pubic come on all might. The two were fist bumping. But in the end the one who ended up winning was all for one. Leaving all might on the floor who was in his Venezuelan form. Tashinori cough, cough, cough. All for one ha ha ha, what happened to student Izuku? Tashinori ja we lock that traitor in Tartarus, but he must be dead by now. All for one lol. He started laughing like crazy, that was something that made everyone more afraid. Tashinori what are you laughing at, damn it. All for one ha ha ha, do you want me to tell you the truth? Tashinori la right? All for one the truth is that your student Izuku was innocent, lol. Chapter 18 All for one versus Izuku. All might that. All for one what you heard dear symbol of peace, you locked up an innocent man. All might know you lie. All for one see Japan, its symbol of peace, does not accept its mistake, ha ha ha. Everyone watching the news started saying that what all for one was saying was a lie. All for one lie? Ha ha ha, twice. Toga showed them he said laughing evilly. Twice created a clone of Izuku, and Toga drank blood and after a few seconds he transformed into Izuku. All Might know what have I done he said falling to his knees. All for one what's up All Might? Did you realize that your peace is based on harming innocents? Ha. Suddenly, footsteps were heard, everyone turned to see who it was, and from the shadows came Izuku, he began to applaud, leaving everyone confused. Izuka hello all for one, nice to see your miserable face. All for one who are you he said looking at him seriously. Izuka I'm sad that you don't remember dear Izuka he said smiling in a macabre way. All for one ha 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 I see, you escaped from Tartarus and now you want to join me, of course there is no problem. Izuka no. All for one right? Izuka I didn't come to be your pawn. I came to kill you. Note, Izuku's demonic form is something like Yujiro's demonic back, only that Izuku took it to another level by surpassing the limits that Baki had mentioned to him. Izuku transformed into his demonic form and with a quick movement gave him a right hook that sent him into the sky, all for one stabilized himself with one of his quirks, then using another quirk, he made the metals begin to surround Izuku quickly, Izuku covered himself while the metals began to spin at high speed, generating many cuts on Izuku. Izuku you will die. 
Izuka came out of the metal tunadu and gave a hammer kick to all for one, which made him return to the ground. Then he went down at a great speed and tried to hit AFO, but he dodged it and made Izuka's blow hit the ground generating a large crater. All for one mind is strong, more than all might he thought surprised. All for one you surprise me, why don't you join the League of Villains? There you can take revenge on those who betrayed you, accept and I will give you the power to kill the heroes. Izuka ha 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 Izuku started laughing like a psychopath causing fear in many. All for one what are you laughing at seriously? Izuku my goal is not to kill heroes, my goal is to kill heroes and villains alike. Izuku gave AFO a strong blow that sent him towards some rocks, AFO teleported and tried to hit him from behind, but Izuku grabbed him by the arm and slammed him against the ground, AFO broke free from Izuku's grip and tried to pierce his heart with a quirk that creates a titanium stake but as soon as the titanium touched Izuku's skin, it broke. Izuku and the first to die will be the villains. Izuku took advantage of the fact that AFO had his guard down and gave him a strong blow that sent him crashing into several buildings. Shigaraki Master All for one attack. Shigaraki you heard the master, let's kill that brat. The League of Villains went to attack Izuku, but before they could touch him, Kana shot her twice clone, then shot Toga but she barely dodged it. Baki gave Dabi a strong blow that embedded him in the ground, and Rayan grabbed Shigaraki's foot and whipped him sending him crashing into a building. Rayan we will take care of them. Izuku whispering thanks friends. Izuku jumped up to all for one with a great leap, trying to kick him, but he dodged it and threw a ray at him that Izuku dodged with some difficulty. Izuku you will die all for one, and if I don't do it now, I will chase you to hell. All for one mind I have to escape from him. All for one A-H-H-H-H-H. All for one raised his hands and many rocks began to come together, more and more, more and more rocks accumulated, until at one point the rock was already the size of half the city. All for one if I die I'll take you with me. All for one under his arms and the meteorite began to fall. Izuku Dam, A-H-H-H-H. Izuku made a big jump and started throwing very powerful and fast punches at the meteorite. Izuku oare 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 oare. After a while the meteorite dispersed into small pieces that did not cause any damage to society. Izuku launched himself at all for one who was on the floor very tired. All for one shit, shit, s-h-i-t. Izuku gave him a strong blow that sent him to the sky. Then he made a big jump and gave a strong blow with his knee on all for one's back. Then he turned and gave him a blow with his other leg that sent AFO to the ground. All for one mind Kuro Jiri, teleport them all to the third base located in Mexico. Kuro Jiri okay, master. Kuro Jiri injected himself with a kind of drug that enhanced his powers, and then created a portal that teleported the entire league of villains except all for one. Izuka say your last words, for death is before you. All for one you have defeated me, but I assure you that everything you love will die in the hands of my student ha ha. Izuka stomped on all for one's head and ended up killing him, then he deactivated his demonic form and headed towards his friends. Son, please wait. The words of that person, that person who ruined his childhood was calling him, he turned slowly with penetrating eyes and asked. Izuku what the hell do you want Midoriya? Inko don't talk to me like that I'm your mother and. I didn't finish saying when I was interrupted by Izuku. Izuku mother? You are not my mother, I never had parents. Inko I gave you life and also. Izuku a mother is the one who raises, not the one who gives her ass to any man who then sends her to hell. Inko. Izuku tell me, do you know what my favorite color is? My favorite food? What do I like to do? Have you ever taken care of me after I was four years old? Inko. Izuka no, you were never a mother to me, only to that Hichizumi because she had a good quirk. Inko. Izuka started walking to his friends, after a while he found them sitting. Izuka what happened that I see you sad? Rayan mine escaped. Kena the schizophrenic, and the thirst for Hawk too. Baki where am I? Rayan, and it seems that age is starting to affect Baki. Izuka mmmm interesting, what if we go? 
Rayan for what or what? Izuku pointed up. When they looked in that direction they could see a helicopter recording. Reporter and as you will see, they are our saviors. The helicopter pilot was shot, causing those in the helicopter to crash and die. Kana ready my king he said raising a thumb up. Izuka nice way to get rid of a helicopter, okay guys, do you think we should go? Rayan with the Batmobile? Baki no, with the fantastic car. Kana better with a private jet. Izuka let's go, let's go. They started running so that the heroes wouldn't try to catch them and in the process avoid problems. At Kame House. The boys walked in and Rashi could be seen sitting on the couch. Rashi what a tremendous fuss they made. Kana what thing? Rashi pointed at the TV. Everyone turned to look and saw the following. News. Lady and that's how these four people saved all of Japan something that not even the former symbol of peace managed to do. Since that title was taken away from him because he can no longer use his quirk. The Midoriya family was also accused of child abuse, attempted murder, and trafficking puppies. These were their statements. Izumi F was P because my brother and didn't have a quirk he he he. Reporter are you saying that quirks are useless? Izumi and no, just that they don't compare to us. Reporter it's the same, and you Mrs. Midoriya, why did you do that? Inko F I was blinded by my ex-husband. Reporter. But according to investigations, her husband did not have much to do with these decisions. Do you have anything to say about that? Inko. Madam, as you can see, these were the statements. I will also show some images of the battle between Inko Midoriya's son and the villain known as Alfran. Rashi turned off the TV and turned to see Izuku. Izuku in my defense, I have to say that I didn't know they recorded the conversation between that hitch Midoriya and I. Rayan, and in the end when do we look for my sister? Kana you are such a pain in the ass with that. Baki two and two are four, four and two are six, six and two are eight, and eight and eight are sixteen. Izuka tomorrow we will go look for her, for now we will sleep. After that conversation, most people went to sleep. In an unknown house. Midnight you look so hexy Izuku, I want you to kiss me and, and Kaya what am I thinking? he said quickly turning off the TV. Midnight lay down on her bed and hugged her pillow. Midnight I hope to see you soon. At Kame House. Izuku I hope to see you soon. Chapter 19 Training the Horsemen of the Apocalypse Time spick one day. We can see Izuku going to an unknown place. When Izuku arrived in front of an apartment, he took a deep breath and said to himself while knocking on the door. Talk, talk, talk. Izuka calm down Izuku, I don't think he hates you. Izuka are you sure? Many people consider you a villain. Izuka then what do I do? Izuka one straw adds everything. Izuka how straws are made. I didn't finish saying when I saw how a beautiful woman opened the door. Note, I will call her midnight when she has her hero's suit and when she is working. Namuri hello who is it? Izuka aho hello midnight. Namuri, do I know you? Izuka this. Namuri Izuka, he said, shedding a couple of tears. She gave him a big hug while crying on his chest. Midnight, I thought, sniff, I wouldn't, sniff, see you again. Izuka just caressed her hair while hugging her. Time spick. After a few minutes, the two entered Namuri's house and began to talk. Izuka, and that's how I finished Dark Souls 1 with the outcast class, he said, smiling. Namuri yes, I also went through it, but with the warrior class ha ha ha. The two stopped laughing and slowly got closer, to the point where they could feel each other's breathing. Izuku Namuri. Namuri Izuku. The two gave each other a kiss full of love. After a few minutes they separated due to lack of air, but Namuri wrapped her feet around Izuku's back and with her hands she wrapped her neck. Izuku put both of his hands on Namuri's waist and gave her another kiss. Izuku started walking to Namuri's room, and with a kick he opened the door and then dropped it on his bed and started kissing Namuri's neck. Namuri, ah, yes. Lemon skipped. She felt Izuku began to hammer her quickly, without mercy, and as her friend had told her, hard against the wall, solid against the floor, slow on the pavement, 
without pain on the sand and without comfort on the ground. Time spick ten hours. We can see Namuri covered in Heman everywhere. Heman came out of her bag Ina, heinous and mouth. Izukuug, I'm satisfied, do you think we should sleep? Namuri more Heman began to come out of her bag Ina. Izuku, I'll take that as a yes. Izuku stood up and with a lot of paper he began to clean Namuri's body, and then he put an ice bag near her bag Ina. Izuku rest gives him a kiss on the forehead and covers it with a milling cutter. Time spick the next day. We can see Namuri slowly opening her eyes. Namuri Izuku? Namuri mind I hope he hasn't abandoned me. Namuri began to shed a few tears thinking that Izuku just used her, but before she could think anything else the door suddenly opened. Izuku hello Namuri, I brought you breakfast, why are you crying? Are you hurt Namuri? He said, checking her entire body and touching her a little. Namuri and nothing is wrong T calm down he said wiping away his tears. Izuka thank goodness, here he said giving him an American style breakfast. Namuri thank you she said timidly, but smiling. Time spick ten minutes. We can see Namuri limping to sit on an armchair next to Izuku. Namuri so you want to create a group and have me be a horseman of the apocalypse? But I'm too weak for that. Izuku I know, but that's what I have this for he said taking out a syringe with a yellow liquid. Namuri, what is that? Izuku, for many years I have had this idea of creating this group. For that reason I created this. In total there are three syringes that contain powers, one for the rider that represents conquest and victory, another for the rider that represents war and conflict, and another rider that represents famine. And this needle contains something like quirks that will help you to be a rider and this syringe contains the powers that the rider that represents famine would have. Namuri, so you want that? Izuki, yes, I want you to become the horseman of famine, and thus create a world from scratch. Namuri, I don't know, do you think it's right? According to what I know about the riders, they bring chaos and destruction, and you want to make them real, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Izuku Namuri, do you know how rotten this society is? Do you know the women who have been graped, the deaths due to overwork, the scams on humble people, the corruption of the society of heroes, and because of all this there are villains he said looking at her seriously. Namuri. Izuka see, are you aware of it? What do you decide midnight, make a new world by my side, or never see me again? Namuri I agree to be a writer, I have realized what you say is real, and I do not want my future children to live in all this evil. Izuka children? Namuri. Yes, you and I will buck until you get me pregnant. She said grabbing him by the neck and then kissing him passionately. Namuri, but that's later. Now give me that syringe. He gave her the syrinx, and she quickly stuck it into one of his veins. Namuri, it hurts. Izuki, yes, that's true. I had forgotten that your body would have to get used to it, and that would cause a lot of pain, hee hee hee. Namuri, next next time I'll castro you, hhh. Izuka felt very nervous and intimidated, after that Namuri fainted. Time spick one hour. At Kame House. We can see Namuri suddenly standing up. Namuri A-H-H-H, where am I he said looking everywhere in despair. Izuka hello, you are at Kame House, the place where I was trained, come to introduce yourself to everyone. She followed him while leaning on his shoulder. After a few seconds they arrived at a room where all of Izuka's allies were. Izuku, this is Rashi, my teacher. Rashi Izuku, where did you leave the porn disc? Hello, I am the teacher of this retard. Izuku, I love him too, master. He is Baki, one of my ancestors, and he is also my master. Thanks to Baki, I have my demonic form. Baki, hello. I hope you use the condom, Izuku. Izuku. Namuri. Baki, holy crap, Izuku. I hope you don't go buy cigarettes. Izuku, I don't plan on doing that he he he. Namuri he he. Izuku he is Jose. He was the guard who looked after my cell and one of my only friends in Tartaros. Jose, hello. I sell all kinds of drugs for 5,000,000 pesos per kilo. How much do you want? Namuri for now nothing he 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 whispering two kilos. I'll pay you through Mercado Pago. Jose, perfect. Izuku he is Rayan. He is my friend and he is an alcohol addict. Rayan hip, God has hip, bless me, 
with the hip power of straw. Izuku and this is Kena, my best friend and one of the people I admire the most for her willpower he he he. Kena and you are? Namuri I am a friend and future wife of Izuku she said hugging him and grabbing his heinous. Kena look at you, but he asked me to suck it faster. Izuku it wasn't that you cook faster. Kena shut your mouth or I'll castrate you. Izuku. The two walked until their chests collided with each other. Kena I have bigger breasts. Namuri I have more ass. Kena I have a better waist. Namuri I'm 32 and you're 35. Kena I have softer hair. Namuri I can stop villains by just using my quirk for a few seconds. Kena I can kill villains from miles away. The two began to discuss different topics until they came to a conclusion. Kena we will not get anywhere with this discussion. Namuri you're right. It's clear that we're in love with Izuku. Kena do we do what we always do in fanfics? Namuri slash Kena share. All the men were left with one face. WTF? Izuka cough, cough, cough changing the subject. Kena and Namiri, come with me. The two girls followed him until they were in front of the sea. Kena do you want me to do something Izuku? Namuri another hex section? Izuka no, it's to talk about this group of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Namuri why did you choose that name? Wouldn't it be better to call it the seven deadly sins or something like that? Izuku, is there a sin of being deceived and used in that group? Kena, no. Izuku, is there the sin of excitement in that group? Namuri, no, but not with the four horsemen either. Kena, why did you choose to recreate that group? Izuku, because. The two began to pay close attention to the answer. Izuku, because that name seems really cool to me. The two of them gave him a scolding for such a stupid answer. Izuku apart from what I gave you Namuri, it is something that took me a long time to create, more than a year, and I don't have more than seven years to fix this world, because I don't like waiting and thinking. Kena so what do you want to get to with this? Izuku I want you Kena, to be the rider that represents conquest, the rider of the white horse. He said as he held out a syrinx. Kena yes she puts one foot on her knees and says I swear loyalty to you until the end of my days. Izuku mind I guess he likes the dramatic. She injected the substance and after a few seconds she fainted. Namuri leaving aside the fact that Kena fainted. Why can't I stop being hungry? Izuku it's one of the side effects of the substance you injected yourself with. You can't stop being hungry. Namuri and oh I don't want to get fat. Izuku don't worry. Your metabolism improves when you inject the substance. So you will never gain weight whispering and you will never die. Namuri great he said taking out two hamburgers to eat them later. Time spick two hour. We can see Kena already awake with Izuku and the others talking. Ray and I will go to Mexico. Oh what? Rayan, well I was investigating my sister's whereabouts and she is in Mexico studying black rights. Izuku it is a very simple issue, they have no right. Kena were you about to say something funny? Everyone started watching it while making Izuku nervous. Izuku not at all. Jose okay, you can continue Rayan. Rayan as I was saying, I'm going to Mexico. All what? Rayan sighs and the flight is tomorrow. Izuku okay, buy tickets for me, Kena, Namuri and for Baki. Jose and Rashi know because they blew up my car. Baki no, please take us. Jose it was just a little scratch and it exploded. Rashi it was worth it. I was rescued by some loving people and I was able to see everything he he he. Izuku no more to say. Kena is getting the clothes ready. Kena but we don't have suitcases. Izuku Namuri get your clothes ready. Namuri we are in the middle of the sea. How am I going to get there? Izuku script power. Time spick the next day. We can see. Rayan, Izuku, Kena and Namuri waiting for a plane in an abandoned area. Izuku what a pain to have to travel illegally. Rayan yes. Kena literally the whole continent knows us. Namuri and the heroes hunt us down because they consider us villains. Izuku. Rayan. Izuku here comes the plane. Rayan let's go to Mexico where Roberto Gomez Balanos lives. 
Izuki yes, thank goodness there were medical quirks, because without quirks he would have died from his stomach cancer. Kana who is he? Namuri yes, who is he? Ray and the boy from 8? Kana slash Namuri. Izuka they didn't count on my cunning. Kana slash Namuri. Ray and that, 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 that. Kana slash Namuri. Izuka my vinyl antennas detect the presence of the enemy. Kana slash Namuri. Izuka they didn't have a childhood. Ray and no, they didn't have it. Kana better shut up, the illegal flight is here. Namuri isn't that plain too light blue and small? Rayan it is to avoid being detected by sight and radar. Time spick. After that they paid for the flight and got on the plane. Izuka goodbye, Japan. Namuri don't tell me you're going to miss something from there? Izuka no proceeds to remind Mitsuki I won't miss anyone other than those from Kame House. Kana mind still heard about her. Izuka now let me sleep because we have a 14 hour and 25 minute trip ahead of us. Rayan. Namuri. Kana. Izuka and yes, what did you expect? That the trip would last an hour? After that everyone went to sleep, except Izuka who was the only one who couldn't. Izuka goodbye damn country that has made me suffer so much. He said, watching how little by little Japan began to disappear from view through the clouds. Chapter 20 The Perfect Warrior. Time spick 14 hours. We can see Izuku, Rayan, Kana and Namuri getting off the plane. When they got off they looked around and it seemed like they were in a fairly populated place. Or so they thought. Izuku shit. We should have brought Jose. Rayan na, that mongoloid knows more about the names of drugs than his own country. Kana shut up what are you doing? He said pointing at some men who were trying to climb some large bars but some soldiers were preventing them. Extra one let me pass I'll be the one to break your ass. Everyone looked at him with a face of, WTF? Extra three that sounded a little bad. Extra one but I said it right A-H-H. One of the American guards shot him in the leg, causing him to fall onto American territory. Then another guard began to beat him, and finally they threw him back into Mexican territory. Extra two wow dude they graped him terribly. Izuku I think that it's better to get out of here. They all agreed and ran away. Namuri wow, I'm much faster than before she said impressed. Kana I say the same thing. Izuku it's thanks to the substance I injected them with ha ha ha. Namuri but I think it hurts too much to adapt. Kana I say the same thing. Izuku mind I guess I shouldn't tell you that they could have died from internal bleeding and bone cancer. Thank goodness it worked he he he. Izuku when we stay at a hotel I will train them to control their new powers. Namuri and Kana were happy, which was noticed by Rayan. Rayan, I don't recommend you to be happy. If Izuku trains them, they will suffer like in hell. Those words made the girls shiver all over their bodies. Time spick the next day. In Mexico City. We can see everyone in front of a hotel. The girls were very tired, but Izuku and Rayan were as good as new. Kana, how can they run for so long? Namuri, they made a pact with Satan. Rayan, we are used to fighting for days. This is nothing. Izuka, what my friend said he steals steroids. The two entered the hotel and rented two rooms. One for Rayan, the other for Kana, Namuri and Izuka it was forced. Izuka, what did you bring in your suitcases? Namuri, I brought lipsticks, mirrors, fashionable clothes, my hero costume, handcuffs, a whip, and lubricant. Kana yo brought perfume clothes, two grenades, toilet paper, romantic sleeves, and clothes for hexual cosplay. Izuka because I asked? He said, quickly going to Rayan's room. Izuka hello Rayan. He said watching Rayan kissing a Chinese monkey that was on a poster. Rayan. Izuka I haven't seen anything. Rayan thank you. After that Izuka returned to his room. Izuka girls, let's go outside, we have to train. Time spick 30 minutes. We can see Izuku, Kana and Namuri in a field full of animals. Izuku well, first you Namuri, concentrate and try to make your quirk change a little. When you use your quirk do it without problems, since it will not affect us. Namuri okay. 
Namuri began to concentrate and after a few minutes she felt the composition of her quirk change, when she felt that she tried to release her quirk suddenly, and she did, a dark purple smoke expanded throughout the area that was full of animals, after a few seconds the plants began to fall away and the animals began to fall dead. Namuri what was that? Izuku your power is based on disease, which can bring famine to the whole world if you set your mind to it, and the good thing is that when combined with your quirk, the diseases are enhanced and kill them much faster, he said smiling. Izuka now try using your quirk by changing the composition of your quirk again. Namuri did as requested, but when Izuka and Kena inhaled the smoke they felt stronger. Izuka as I thought, not only can you bring death to animals, but you also have the ability to strengthen us through your quirk. Namuri? Izuka in a nutshell it's like the strengthening magic of manga. Namuri let's go. Izuka you are also able to transmit diseases to the enemy, such as COVID-19 etc. You can also transmit a virus that kills the one you threw it at, but slowly, something like cancer, and all this is through your quirk. Namuri I'm awesome. Izuka in tone your abilities are, to make people faint, give them deadly diseases, strengthen your team, and all this through the gas you release, and your abilities do not affect the four horsemen, from today you have to practice it every day okay? Namuri rest assured. Izuku now you kena, shoot that cow, but aiming somewhere else, and when you shoot the bullet try to make it go towards the cow. Kena okay. Kena shot at a cow that was quite far away, the trajectory of the hair bullet was going in another direction, but Kena felt that she could move the bullet, she moved one of her fingers to the right and the bullet went against the cow and killed it. Izuku what you just did is control your hair. Thanks to the substance I gave you your hair became as strong as titanium, so you can use your hair as if they were other hands, now concentrate, and imagine that you are flying. Kena I will try. After a few minutes Kena began to levitate. Kena I'm I'm flying. Izuka you can also fly, it's just a matter of practice to master it, and finally try to run, but being as stealthy as possible. She started running and from one moment to the next she became invisible in some moments, and in others she wasn't. Kena wow, he could also make me invisible. Izuku yes, that ability is a combination, being stealthy automatically also makes you invisible and undetectable to enemies. Kena and have you already implanted the substance? Izuku ya wanna see what I can do? The girls yes. Izuku didn't hear them. Girls yes captain, we are ready. Izuku activated his demonic form and created two purple daggers. Note, I'm not colorblind, just imagine the daggers are purple with black. Kena what does your ability do? Izuku in short, everything that these daggers cut will burn to death. These daggers are created with my blood and whoever touches it other than me will die incinerated, except you. Izuku ran up to a cow and slashed it horizontally with one of his daggers. The cow split in half and the split parts were consumed by a fire that came out of nowhere. Kena so your power is fire? Namuri no, it is sure to create weapons with the control of your blood. Izuku both, the daggers are made by me so they have this devastating effect. But the powers that I have are called, flames of the ninth hell, and the other is called, blood control. I can use the flames of the ninth hell to enhance my physical abilities, and the blood control for the creation of weapons, oh by the way. My face will change little by little, that is one of the effects of the substance that I implanted, and I have one more power but I have not discovered it yet. Namuri your face will be deformed she said scared. Kena I can't allow that she said desperately. Izuka don't worry, my face will actually change, but for the better, because my body will be perfected for battles, and I suppose my muscles will concentrate and become a little smaller, but all this is to be the perfect warrior. Kena as long as you remain the same, it's my good. Namuri I say the same thing. Time spick. We can see everyone gathered together talking. Rain guys it seems that my sister has been kidnapped. Izuka ha ha. He was silenced by a sape from Namuri. Kena where is it? Rain no idea, but I suspect they are going to sell her as a slave. Izuka mmm human trafficking, how much does your sister cost? Kena and Namuri looked at him with a face that said, If you keep talking, I'll kill you. Izuka well, bye. 
Kana, what are you going to do? Izuku to complete my perfect warrior for my need time, and also protection. One single attack and I will be dead. Ray and okay. Kana rest assured. Namuria hex section before? Izuku then Namuri then, I will be more or less ten hours in a vegetative state until my perfect form is completed. Izuku injected himself with a second substance and began to be surrounded by a dark mass that created a kind of black sphere. Kana, I guess nothing will happen. Everyone heard how the hotel was destroyed by a high in Nomu. Kana shot him in the foot which destabilized him, and then Midnight used her quirk and the Nomu started to give him a fever. Noma cough, 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 it's too much. Kana mind are men really like that. They break all their bones and say, I'm a gem, but when they get a little fever it seems like the end of their days. Namuri mind just like Izuku when he has a fever. Ray and poor Noma you received. Noma tell my mom that I love her very much proceeds to die. Ray and no, Noma ki yunnn. The girls looked around and what they saw left them in shock. Kana they are. Namuri many. They said seeing how there were five high end gnomus, ten almost high end gnomus, fifty high level gnomus, one hundred mid level gnomus, and one hundred and fifty low level gnomus. Shigaraki hand over Izuku, and I won't kill you. Namuri shut your mouth Manolo. Kana are you still hurt about your teacher? Ha. Shigaraki damn it gnomus, kill them. Time specification 10 hours. We can see that the black sphere broke revealing Izuku's new form. Izuku. Izuku saw how the entire area within a 5 kilometer radius was destroyed by a battle. He quickly went to where the battle was, and saw how his companions were about to die by a high end Noma. Izuku they will die he said seriously. In one swift movement, Izuku decapitated more than 10 Nomas at once, including the high end ones. Kena Izuku? I asked very tiredly. Namuri I got what she said seeing the new Izuku. Ray and I don't know what this writer is smoking to change Izuku's appearance all the time, but you look handsome bro. Izuku thank you, but Shigaraki, today you will die along with the League of Villains he said seriously, but with an imposing voice. Chapter 21 Yendi Time spick 5 hours We can see Izuku in front of Shigaraki completely beaten to a pulp. Izuka last words? He said seriously. Shigaraki Bakyu. Izuka stepped on his head and thus ended his life. Kena thanks for saving us Izuka she said hugging him. Namuri I want you to hit me, get me pregnant, and abandon me gur. Izuka not about leaving, but if you want the rest now he said grabbing her chin and with his other hand bringing her closer from her waist. Rayan okay guys, what if we go for some beers? Brother? Ray and I don't know you, my sister is about to be sold into slavery sister. He said hugging her tightly. Who are they what a handsome boy. Ray and she is Kana, the one who looks like a stalker is Namuri, and he is Izuku. She quickly stood in front of Izuku and gave him a strong kiss that Izuku reciprocated. Carla wrapped both of her feet around Izuku's back. Izuku. Carla my name is Carla. And my grandfather always told me that I had to have strong offspring, so I want you to fill me up here and now I want to feel your hemen running down my mouth, and together we will create the strongest being on earth. Izuku grabbed her shoulders and lowered her, then looked nervously at Rayan. Rayan, they are of a hitch you want to buck my sister so fast. Time spick. Author, I don't want to write like five more chapters, so I'll tell you what happened next. Izuku and Carla grew closer and closer until it was evident that they both loved each other, and together with Namuri and Kena they became a couple harem. After a few months of training they all already controlled their powers, so they went to Japan and declared war on them. It all began and the four horsemen of the apocalypse had the advantage. Until the United States, Russia and China joined in the war, Izuka began to use his demonic form and Kena called on Rashi, Rayan and Baki to help them. They accepted because they wanted a new world and that was how the war became even, the heroes were falling little by little. The villains who allied with the heroes were also dying at their hands, and that was how Midnight used all her power and released a gas that covered the entire world starting to kill plants and animals, including humans. The whole war went in favor of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, 
Kana and Carla used their powers and generated internal wars. Izuka fulfilled his revenge and raped his sister and mother along with Mitsuki, Momo and Kurishima Femme. Then he killed them and pissed on their dead bodies. The only ones he left alive on the hero's side were Aizawa and Mineta. After a year the four horsemen of the apocalypse along with their friends won and decided to make society from scratch. Note, remember that they are immortal thanks to the substance that Izuki gave them. Time spick 100 years. We can see the new Muzidafu. But this time there was no crime, there were literally no heroes because there was no need for them, and those who didn't have a quirk weren't frowned upon. It was so beautiful that it seemed like a lie. The only bad thing is that for some reason Izuku couldn't have male children, only female ones. In Yue Mansion We can see Izuku, Kena, Namuri and Carla living together with their daughters. Izuku thank you. Kena why? Izuku thank you. Because without you this new world would not have been possible. I thank you for fulfilling my dream. I love you. Namuri I love you too. Carla let's have hex until dawn. Time spick ten hours. We can see the girls with a satisfied face and with heart eyes full of heman everywhere. Izuka went down to the living room and sat on a piece of furniture to drink wine until his three daughters approached. You laugh daddy. It's death daddy we're calling you. Note, Isdetha's name was given to her by Carla, and they are the same as each of her animes, Rias from DXD, Wiz from Konosuba, and Isdetha I don't remember the man from the anime. Wiz Daddy. Izuku ah, are you daughters, what do you want? Wiz we wanted to ask you something. Rias what do you do with our moms every night? Isdetha so that's what you do with them. Izuku that's called Hex, and it's putting the male member in the woman's little line. Author High Intelligence Izuka is saying that to some five-year-old girls. Rius, we want to do that with you. The girls agreed. Izuka ha ha ha, when you grow up, go now. The girls left with the idea of fulfilling it at all costs. Time spick. Rius ah, harder daddy. Is death don't hog dad. Quickly Izuka took out his bennies from Rius and stuck it into his death. Is death how delicious, ah? Then he took them out and put them on Wiz. Wiz wait ah, more from there slow down ah. The door was abruptly opened in Kena. Namuri and Carla were seen very angry. Namuri what do you think you're doing? Kena what this said? Carla yes, what are they doing? Izuku eh. His daughters we love dad. They hugged him making Izuku blush. Carla you have to complete the sentence right? Kena indeed. Namuri yes. Carla slash Kena slash Namuri what are you doing with your father without us? They took off their clothes showing that they had a very erotic bikini. After that night the poor neighbors could not sleep because of the screams. The next day. Izuka woke up with all his wives and daughters who were now his girlfriends. Izuka thanks girls for giving me the best life that I could have missed. And I know that a father doesn't do this. But I think I like them too he he he. After all they are my daughters. The girls thanks to you Izuku, we love you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.